Yo, y'all know what it is. Y'all know what it ain't. The uh, Tay Sav, Tay Savage. He he responded to the the Bernie shit. He said, "This internet shit, a motherfucker." I see why the murder rate through the roof. For the record, though, I'm not going back and forth for nobody that's in the same city with me. If it's smoke, tag me in it and let me know it's smoke. Ain't no sneaky wars. So I got had them killers pop out that we all seen before. And he pretty much tagged Lil Varney and said, um, "You know they got each other numbers." And he, you know, he said Varney made it clear who he was talking about, and he wasn't talking about uh, Tay Savage. That's what you know. I guess that's what they said behind the scenes when in actuality all this shit stemming from Tay Savage speaking on King Von name, bringing up Melly and other killers that necessarily wasn't on the same playing field as, you know, the BDs, you know, because Tay Savage is a BD from World's World on low end, if you don't know. And so you got to even though it's BDs versus BDs and GDs versus GDs, we obtain it to this this beef that's between certain sets through the city. And, you know, he uh, he was asked in a lot of interviews with DJU and 16 about these other killers, you know, which one was Melly and um, just about a lot about a, uh, about a lot of other different shit. And one thing that Tay Sav said that I feel like rubbed people the wrong way and they're just not speaking on it because, you know, you, you know, just because I don't understand why a lot of these so-called quote unquote savages are so Internet. I feel like Tay Savage capitalizing on his image right now. You know, he trying to most definitely let y'all know he a savage, but he rapping as well. So he trying to get as much attention as he can to help propel his music career. But in one of the interviews, he said that he's LeBron James. No, no, I'm sorry. Excuse me. Uh, you know, I ain't, don't, don't shoot me. Uh, he said he's Michael Jordan. And we talking about killing. And LeBron and, and King Vaughn is the LeBron James of, you know, of killing. And, you know, and honestly, especially, he say, also said that he was older, so he was doing it before Vaughn. And since he just been, he's been the one actually being asked these questions. He's not the one just randomly bringing it up. And um, you can't get mad at either or. These are some good questions and these are some good answers. But a lot of people being rubbed the wrong way, and one of them being Varney. And I left the, the quotes and all that shit in this video in the beginning of it so y'all can see what was being said. And it wasn't necessarily a diss towards Tay Sav. That's why he responded the way he did. But it was also some aggression in that response because it's kind of like, you know, if you're not beefing with me or dissing me or, or, or anything like that, why even respond to anything I'm saying about King Von. And honestly, I just feel like a lot of people on both sides, like, just let King Von name rest at this point. As far as Trapper Lord Ross got this documentary that's incriminating his ass, and then just all these other people that's, you know, Butter came out speaking about Lil Reese shooting him, and then, you know, they asking him about King Von, and it's just one of those things where the family and the friends and the gang members that's cool with Von, y'all gotta understand, like, this nigga is a legend. He died a legend, and his name gonna live on forever. And some street shit, especially. We're not even talking about music, because unfortunately in the music industry, after so long, people stop checking for your music. They don't really care about post postpartum or post posthumous, whatever the fuck type of releases that you release, unless you like a Juice World Excess Extentation and you tap into that white market. But on some street shit, your music gonna eventually die out, but all you have is your image and your name after that. And they gotta understand that. Like these interviews, even though is questions being asked about King Von that might not be so flattering. It's also having people who might not even be too hip to Shorty go check out his music. Get in the comment section. Let me know what y'all think below. I'm gone.